Okay, this is going to be a short video on getting started with Mastercam when you first open up the program. As you can see, when I first opened Mastercam, I don't have anything on the screen other than just a background. The first thing that you want to do is to make sure that you have a toolpath manager over here on the left hand side of the screen. And most of you should already have that, but if you don't, I want to show you how to get back to that. If you go up to the tabs at the top and you select View, under Managers you have a series of selections. And the very first one called Toolpaths will bring up the Toolpath Manager and that will put that over on the left hand side of the screen. This is how we're going to create our toolpath information that will be used to drive the computer numerical machine. So it's a must have. There's several others that, that we may use. I'm going to go ahead and turn on planes and levels. And as you'll see down at the bottom, I now have three tabs, toolpaths, planes, and levels that we can articulate back and forth from. I'm going to go back to toolpaths, and I'm going to go back to the home tab. I now have what we call our toolpath manager. Okay, the second thing that I want to show you guys is how to establish the origin or the 00, zero for the file. If you go to F9, F9 will establish the origin point for Mastercam. This origin is the starting point for Mastercam so that you can produce your program from a 00. zero. It's, it's one of those have to haves and that is selected by the F9 key back and forth. All right, and the third and final thing that I want to show you is how to establish the machine type that you're going to use for your program. As you get into programming, you're going to know whether or not you're going to use a mill or a lathe, and hopefully you'll know what type of machine it is, whether it's a Haas CNC machine or a Okuma. There's hundreds of different brands. Mastercam is going to produce a post-processor for that particular brand that allows the Mastercam software to generate good G-code for that machine type. And to do that, we're going to go over to the Machine tab. We're going to select Machine. We're going to go to Mill. And you can see I have nothing listed other than default. We're going to go to Manage List. And under our Manage List, you're going to have several different types of CNC machine definitions over on the left-hand side. You may have more than I have on this screen because I cleared out the ones that I don't typically use. You're going to look for the Haas. It'll either be a Haas Office, Haas VF, or Haas Mini Mill machine definition file. You're going to select that, and you're going to add that to your current machine definition menu. Once you've added that machine over, you can select the green check. And now when you select mill, you will have that Haas CNC machine definition file. When you select that definition file, it will populate with a machine group that has that Haas CNC tied to it. And what this again, what this does is this allows us to post the toolpath geometry into G-code that is proper for that particular CNC machine. Okay, that is, uh, that's where we'll stop on this video. Thank you guys.